The U.S. State Department has cleared the sale of self-propelled howitzers and linked packages to Taiwan. This is the first such approval for the self-ruling country by the Biden administration. The Defense Security and Cooperation Agency, or DSCA, announced the approval on Wednesday for Taiwan to acquire 40 M109A6 Paladin 155mm self-propelled howitzers. 20 M992A2 field artillery ammunition support vehicles and 5 M88A2 Hercules armored recovery vehicles, along with an advanced field artillery tactical data system, radios, spares, plus other contractor and logistics support. The deal also includes 1,698 precision guidance kits, which can be fitted on standard 155mm artillery shells to convert them into GPS guided shells for precision artillery strikes. The estimated cost of the potential sale is $750 million. The DSCA says that the proposed sale will contribute to the modernization of the recipient's self-propelled howitzer fleet enhancing its ability to meet current and future threats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. Paladin 155mm howitzer with a support package for Taiwan will be a thorn in the flesh for China. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The M109 is an American 155mm turreted self-propelled howitzer. First introduced in the early 1960s to replace the M44, it has been upgraded a number of times. The M109 family is the most common Western indirect fire support weapon of maneuver brigades of armored and mechanized infantry divisions. The M109 has a crew of four, the section chief or commander, the driver, the gunner, and the ammunition handler slash loader. The chief or gunner aims the cannon left or right deflection and up and down quadrant. The M109A6 Paladin vehicle is powered by a two-cycle diesel, 440 horsepower, DDEC 8V71T engine from Detroit Diesel Corporation and an Allison ATD XTG 411-4 transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. The suspension system is based on high-strength torsion bars with high-capacity shock absorbers. The vehicle has a range of 214 miles or 345 kilometers with a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. The 39 caliber 155 millimeter M284 cannon, which is fitted with an M182 gun mount, has a range of 24 kilometers or 15 miles using unassisted rounds or 30 kilometers or 18 and a half miles using assisted rounds. The projectile loading can be carried out using the full stroke hydraulic system or a semi-automatic loading system. The M109A6 Paladin achieves a maximum firing rate of up to 8 rounds a minute or 3 rounds in 15 seconds and a sustained firing rate of 1 round every 3 minutes. The gun is operated with an automatic fire control system with ballistic computer fitted with an optical backup. The vehicle's inertial positioning and navigation system are integrated with the automatic fire control system. A 12.7mm M2 machine gun 
is mounted on the right-hand side of the turret. Taiwan has welcomed the announcement. The country's foreign affairs ministry stated that the decision by the Biden administration demonstrates the U.S. government's commitment to the Taiwan Relations Act. Viewers may note that the relation between Taiwan and the United States is unofficial and informal and is governed by the Taiwan Relations Act. The Taiwan Relations Act is designed to maintain ambiguity and does not state if the USA will or will not intervene militarily if China attacks or invades Taiwan. Under the act, the U.S. is obligated to sell arms of a defensive character to Taiwan. The government added that sale would allow Taiwan to maintain a rock-solid self-defense and regional peace and stability. China, which views Taiwan as a breakaway province and has vowed to reunify the island with the mainland by force if necessary, has opposed the sale. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson reiterated that Taiwan is an inalienable part of the Chinese territory and the U.S. undermines China's sovereignty and security interests by selling arms to the Taiwan region. The spokesperson further urged the U.S. to stop arms sales to and military interactions with Taiwan and immediately revoke relevant arms sales to Taiwan lest it should cause more damage to China-U.S. relations and peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Artilleries, though, seem primitive in nature, but continue to play an important role on the battlefield. They can be both a defensive and offensive weapon. An artillery barrage will keep the enemy's heads down and has also been known to have a physiological impact by demoralizing the opponent. It's cheaper and faster than air support, and modern artillery is way more accurate as compared to the old days. Advanced artillery has the ability to place highly precise, indirect fire on the enemy's assets. M109A6 Paladin is an excellent asset and will come in very handy in the defensive role. The distance between Taiwan and China is around 200 kilometers or about 125 miles. Viewers may note that only 10 to 12 percent of Taiwan's coastline is suitable for amphibious landing and this removes any possibility of surprise attack. An amphibious assault is one of the trickiest operations and China has no real experience in this. M109A6 Paladin could be used to thwart any landing attempt. 